So somebody asked me one of my comments, I can't remember which one, why do I call kids sea stars? Now, first things first, they're not starfish. Fish have gills. Sea stars have no gills. They breathe through a sieve plate, which is this little orange mark on their body. They are sea stars, not starfish. And then the second reason that I use the word sea star is because sea star, they come in many shapes and colors. They're unique. Each and every one in the ocean are any color of the rainbow. There's some like the feather sea star or the sun star that has like many, many arms or rays, if you technically call it. And then there's like the, there's so many types of sea stars out there. And also I do it because of gender. I don't want to appropriate certain things. You don't necessarily know where this person or this child or anyone is in the LGBTQIA plus community unless they tell you. And I don't want to go, hi, beautiful, or hello, handsome. And they go, oh, I'm they, them, or I, I'm non-binary. Now, I've had a seven-year-old person, I'm going to say person, tell me they did not feel like that they were a boy. And they go, um, I know a lot of people will say things. And I told them that, oh, that's totally okay. You have every right to feel the way you want to feel and no one can judge you for that or they should not judge you for that. But to me, you're my favorite sea star and that's totally coral with me. And that's the thing, this day and age there are a lot of kids and adults that are still trying to find themselves. Some are still in the closet, some are still just trying to keep it quiet because they're afraid of what their friends and family might say. And as a performer, we have to be, you know, really sensitive about certain things. So that's why I use the word sea star, because sea stars are unique and special, just like every one of the LGBTQIA community and cisgenders and everyone else in between. That's why.